Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Rectify 11 and Windhawk. Both of these are Windows 11 customization tools that can help speed up your Windows installation and also customize things like the file explorer, icons on your desktop, the control panel, and also have a consistent dark theme. The first tool for the first part of the video will be Rectify 11, which includes most of these things, which is the control panel, the full dark theme, the new icons, and a better file explorer. To start, go ahead and download it from the official website and unzip the zip file. From here, we can install it. If you don't already have the .NET desktop runtime, you might be prompted to install it. Go ahead and click download it now and it'll download the installer for you. Install this first before installing Rectify 11. Once you launch the installer, you'll be prompted to disable Windows Defender. I recommend disabling it since it'll help uh, Rectify 11 change the icons and some registry entries. So go ahead and open Windows Security and from here you can click Turn Off. If you have any concerns for the uh, installer, you can go check their virus total on their website. From here, you can customize which is being exactly changed. For me, I'm going to go ahead and select all of it since I want the icons and all of the theming options. From here, you can select your dark theme. I usually select uh, Mika because it has this like transparent glass effect and here you can also add more options. Here you can change the context menus. You can also use the old Windows 10 version if you like. Uh, I recommend using the first enhanced fluent menus. Here it'll prompt you to create a restore point. I recommend creating it since in case anything goes wrong with the installation you can always restore your system back to that point. Now after installing your system will reboot and you'll be shown with the screen. As you can see, the control panel has this new look with a full dark theme, and here you can also change the settings, and if you don't want the new context menus, you can also change it back here. And if you don't like the dark theme and you want the light theme instead, you can also change it here. Here you can see the new uh, options in Rectify 11. Also, if you don't see the Rectify 11 uh, context menu, you can also turn these on in the taskbar settings. Here, this will change the options for the file explorer. With Rectify 11, you also get the uh, gadgets. So these are essentially widgets for your desktop, uh, such as on macOS with the weather widget and widgets on the home screen. You can do this here on your desktop as well. And here is a preview of what the file explorer will look like. So as you can see the left, the entire uh, menu bar is now transparent. And here you can also see the new context menu with extra options. If the gadgets menu doesn't show up immediately, you might have to restart your system before it does. As you can see, it's transparent and you can see the effect better now. Opening a folder also makes the main window transparent. Only on the home page, it's unable to. Now for the next part, I'm going to be showing you how to use Windhawk. Windhawk is a uh, app store for multiple tweaks and themes for your system. So with this app, you can install mods for Windows from here. It's essentially a marketplace for community sourced mods. So to start, you can go ahead and download it from their website. And then this setup installer will install the app store for the mods. Once it's installed, we can go ahead and run Windhawk. From here, you can see the featured mods 
such as uh, the Windows 11 start menu tweaks and uh, you can also do volume tweaks and there's many things here so you you can search for something specific if you'd like for now I'm going to be showing the featured mods in this video you can also change the settings for each of the mods after installing you can change it in the settings menu the first thing I'll be showing is this window tiling system it's more similar to the Mac OS Windows system. As you can see, the windows move a little bit smoother on screen. To try this out, I would recommend trying it out on your own so you can see the full effect. For the next mod, I'm going to be showing this taskbar styler. For this, you can set custom icons and even have a Windows 7-esque theme like Arrow, or you can even make it look like a Chromebook. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and install it, and then to change what cell you want, you can do it in the settings after it's installed. After it's installed, click on the details menu on the home page, and then click on advanced or settings, and then here you can change what style it has. After you hit save, it'll refresh, and now you can see the Bubbles theme looks similar to a Chromebook. Your taskbar items such as the calendar will not be changed, but only the appearance of the taskbar will be. Before, you might have seen apps such as Translucent Taskbar, which can only make it clear or only have a couple styles. With this app, you can change it with any style that you want. That's all I'll be showing in this video today. If you have any more questions or any questions about any of the mods in the app, leave them down below.